Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Go to Combat, Attack, Groundswell, Mutagenic Growth, and Dead? I don't think this saves our opponent. Sure. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and this week, we're playing one of my most hated archetypes, which is in fact, however, things are a little different this week. Yes, we're playing in fact, but when I sat down to make this episode of Budget Magic, my goal was simple. I wanted to build the cheapest modern deck that we had ever played on Budget Magic, and I think this one hits the mark. This is a $35 build of in fact, which hopefully will be competitive in the modern format. That's what we're gonna find out today. So that's the main gimmick of this deck. As cheap as absolutely possible. There's a few cards like Ink Moth Nexus that I could have added in and still stayed under the $100 budget, but I want to make an episode for people that are looking for literally the cheapest competitive deck possible. So that's the plan for today. $35 in fact. Let's talk about the deck, jump into the game, starting with our infect creatures. So, of course, the idea of our deck is to play creatures with infect. If you're not familiar with it, instead of dealing normal damage, infect creatures hit for an infect counter or a negative one, negative one counter if we deal combat damage to a creature. However, instead of needing to deal 20 damage to kill our opponent, we only need to give them 10 infect counters. So, essentially, the easiest way to think about infect creatures is they basically all have double strike. They just are building. So, Glisten Ralph, it's a 1 1 for 1. But since our opponent only needs 10 infect counters to lose, it's essentially hitting for one tenth of our opponent's life throw, the same as two normal damage. So essentially, it's a two one for two. Let's think of it that way. Then we have our other infect creatures. We only have 12 in all, our two drop infect creatures, our Blight Bomba, Iker Clawbeer, both have the same upside of Glisner Elf in that they have infect, so kind of have double strike if they're hitting our opponent. Blight Mamba can also regenerate, which can be nice against some removal, although it doesn't help against like Dismember, Path to Exile. Iker Clawbeer, if our opponent blocks it, it gets plus two plus two so it makes it a little bit easier to attack through blockers so these creatures are the core of our deck there are only creatures we need to have at least one every single game because our plan is to turn these creatures into really massive threats maybe kill our opponent as soon as turn two is our absolutely best possible draw but turn three turn four somewhere in that range as far as pump spells the most important is scale up so kiss scale up just turns a creature into a six four for a single mana so all of a sudden our glistener realm instead of being 1-1, one, one, is a 6-4, which makes it really easy to kill our opponent with one additional pump spell. So like scale up plus ground swell, which gives plus 2 plus 2 or plus 4 plus 4 if we made a land drop, uh, is lethal. Scale up plus become amends is lethal. Scale up plus double mutagenic growth is lethal. So if we play like Glisten or Elf on turn one, we have a reasonable shot, especially if we have scale up of maybe killing our opponent on turn two. Worst case, like I said, turn three, turn four, we're trying to kill our opponent quickly for the most part. We also have two other pump spells that are especially important because they protect our creature. Blossoming Defense, plus two, plus two, and also Hexproof, finds of the vast wood, gives a creature Hexproof for one mana, for two mana, also gives it plus four, plus four. So these cards are our most important pump spells in the sense that they allow us to beat removal spells. The easiest way for our opponent to deal with our deck is just wait till we play an infect creature in Lightning Bolt it, Path to Exile it, Dismember it, whatever. These cards prevent our opponent from doing that while also pumping our creature. We also have Rank which is in the deck because our creatures are evasive, which is one of the downsides of our super duper ultra budget as cheap as possible build of infect. So even if we play Glistener Elf, in theory, if one plays like Lingering Souls or even just random creatures, and they can chump block for days, making it really hard to get those 10 infect counters, Ranker just gives our creature plus two, plus oh, and trample. So it allows us to swing through blockers, and then if our creature dies, Ranker comes back to our hand, which is a nice bonus as well. The other new addition to the deck is Season of Growth. The idea is this lets us go long. We want the nut draw, kill our opponent on turn two, turn three, but if that doesn't work out, Season of Growth as we're casting pump spells, gonna draw us more cards. Also lets us scry when creatures come into play. So if the nut draw kill you really quick plan doesn't work, this gives us the ability to play a fair game, fight through removal a little bit. Mana base wise, forest, Pendlehaven, a nice one of to pump our one one since all of our creatures are one ones. In the sideboard, Veil of Autumn helps fight through removal. It's our bad Veil of Summer. Wild Defiance, really good protection against lightning 
lightning bolt since whenever our creature gets targeted by instant or sorcery it gets plus three plus three also speeds up our pump spells gut shot dismember for removal nature's claim a free roll since we're not trying to deal actual damage so opponent giving four life doesn't really matter so one mana blow up any artifact in a jam it and instant speed with no downside weather the storm if we need to gain life against aggro and that is super duper ultra budget 35 dollar in fact as cheap as it gets so let's jump into the games see if this deck actually works can we actually kill real decks real players and modern on a 35 dollar budget let's find out Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit with the wrap-up. If you enjoyed today's deck, make sure to purchase it from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. For a limited time, you can get a Scoop Soldier sticker for free if you mention Scoop Soldier in your order notes during checkout. All right, budget magic time. We are infecting $35 worth of infect. Wait, is this a, is this a turn three kill? One, six... Seven, eight, okay, okay, uh, yeah? I mean, this assumes that nothing goes wrong, like our Blight Mamba getting hit by a lightning bolt, but Blight Mamba, untap, attack, uh, well, untap, scale up, attack, mutagenic growth, groundswell, or ranker, mutagenic growth, uh, that amounts to lethal. The only bad news is Blight Mambas are only infect creature. The biggest drawback, by far, of playing a... This ultra, ultra, ultra budget Infect deck is you don't get Ink Moth Nexus, which that is a nice, just like free roll Infect creature in the mana base. But it's also like $50 a playset, which means you could still, it would still fit in our normal budget range. But, ooh, load, okay. Two load, well, this might be good. If our opponent's comboing off on like turn three or four, we might be able to just kill them. And we don't actually really care about like Angel's Grace. Well, Blight Mamba, go. <laughs> live, live, live. Yeah, Lotus Bloop, stick it down. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Please, no removal. Opponent's passing. Okay. Oh, okay. Another, oh, gemstone mine. Yeah. And, come on, no removal. Opponent's passing. Yeah. Well, play Pendlehaven. Scale up. Uh, Ranker. We don't actually have a protection spell. Go to combat. Attack. Uh, mutagenic growth? Up to 10? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Please? Turn three kill for three, for 35 bucks? I'm pretty sure our opponent's too... I'm pretty sure... Pact of negation. Okay, well, let's ground swell. Okay, that's that's a 12 power infector. Oh! Oh, got there! Got there! I'm pretty sure the cards that our opponent played, these two lands and two lotus bloobs, are more than our entire deck. All right! <laughs> That's what the deck can do. Uh, I mean, I don't know how this goes long run, since, uh, since our opponent can also combo off. I guess we just gotta try to win quick. Nature's claim... So, all right. Rankers seem not that necessary. We can probably trim Season of Growth. I think we basically gotta win fast, because our opponent will combo off eventually. Yeah, we can go down the Rankers, since I don't think our opponent's gonna have blockers. We can go up Wild Defiance, Nature's Claims, and Veil of Autumns? And maybe we go, maybe we go three Nature's Claims. All right, run it like that. Well, I mean, <laughs> that was a turn three kill with a $35 deck. We'll take it. That could have been even faster. If we had Glistener Elf instead of Blight Mamba, that would have been a turn turn two kill. Well, okay. This seems fine. It's not insane. We do have our sideboard cards, which is decent. Yeah, we'll keep. Will it be fast enough with us being on the draw? That's the big, big, big question. Nature's Claim really good in this deck since uh, we don't care about our opponent game life for the most part. Since we're killing, we don't actually have any ways to deal actual damage. It's all in fact, so four life is basically meaningless, so it's just one mana blow up anything. Lotus Bloom, Suspended, Dark Slug Shores, Played, and Serum Visions. Alright, so it's definitely an Ad Nauseum style deck. Hmm. This Lotus Bloom is a concern, for sure. Veil of Autumn doesn't actually stop uh, combo kills, it just protects our creatures. One more one mana infect creature would make this deck a lot better. Right now, it's just Glistener Elf. If there was something that was one man in head, in fact. Well, Forest, you. Could also use a bit more pump. Right now, we're at just four? So that's a, a couple of turns away from actually winning. 
Lotus Bloom to ticking down City of Brass for our opponent. Downside of being in, in fact, is uh, City of Brass, pretty much free roll for our opponent. Since we can't actually damage them with normal damage. Only I got about it. Two to the top. That's not ideal. Ooh, more lands. Well, Icker Claw Mirror, go. Yeah, we do not have a lethal amount of pumping at the moment. Opponent, taking on Lotus Bloom. Our best draw, I think, is Scale Up. Land Scale Up Groundswell actually just gives us a win with Autumn Veil Protection. Opponent passes. Mutagenic Growth. We'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack for one. Hit our opponent. And I think we just pass. I think we just pass and upkeep blow up this Lotus Bloom. Why our opponent does not have enough mana to also Angel's Grace. So there's Lotus Bloom. Comes down. We will Nature's Claim. Sure. I mean, our cards are not blue or black, so that's fine. <laughs> that's a green card! <laughs> Pony didn't even get to draw a card! <laughs> People, I think, are overrating Veil of Summer. They're just so used to it being fizzle everything. It doesn't actually fizzle Nature's Claim. Come on, pump spell to close out this game before our opponent draws out of it. Another nature's claim is not the worst. I'll go to combat. Get in with Iker Claw Mirror. We don't have lethal yet. Get in, hit ya. Blight Mamba. We gotta hold on to the land for this ground spell past the turn. Opponent untaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically, this is lethal next turn if nothing goes wrong. Ooh, Vines is good. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Attack. Groundswell. Mm -hmm. Actually, we should go on the same creature, right? Yeah. Mutagenic Growth. And dead? I don't think this saves our opponent. Sure. So opponent goes to 10, in fact. They stay alive, but as soon as they untap, they die. Like, immediately. Because they have 10, in fact. Oh! <laughs> we got him! We got him! I don't know if I've ever seen anyone alive with 10, in fact, before. Whoa! Okay! 35 bucks! 35 bucks! We're killing people! <laughs> yes! Alright! Well, uh, it's working! It's kinda working! <laughs> Sweet! Alright! Budget magic time! We are playing some $35 in fact, going basically as cheap as possible in the modern format. That was the goal of this deck. Not just to in fact, but to in fact for as cheap as possible and okay i mean four eight nine ten if nothing goes wrong turn three kill four is for our opponent and secure tribe scout all right that's discomforting forest go opponent oh dear amulet bounce land untap oh dear oh dear okay well when i said if nothing goes wrong <laughs> uh something has definitely gone wrong opponent going off going off yeah passes well play glistener elf pass the turn the bigger problem is our opponent has a bunch of blockers which is going to make it difficult for us to actually kill our opponent we definitely gotta hope they don't have a payoff if they have a primeval titan we're probably just dead this turn and uh ancient stirrings thankfully ancient stirrings cannot get primeval titan okay gets a bounce land well the moment of truth pony has two lands in an unknown is the unknown primeval titan if it is we're in a lot of trouble if it's not things are interesting at least so bounce land untaps land Oh, they have it. Well, all right. Their last card was Primeval Titan. Oh, oh, yeah. Last card probably is Primeval Titan, or they wouldn't tap both their dorks. <sighs> all right. And we will scoop it up. Okay. Well, I mean, what can you do? Sometimes you get nut drawn. And that was the nut draw. We can bring in two gut shots and two dismembers, I guess. We'll go down Season of Growth. And... Run it like that. Oy, 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 oy. We were in such a good place, but our opponent's draw was just... I mean, it is modern. We're trying to kill our opponent on turn three. 
They're trying to kill us on turn three. The only downside uh, is we're trying to do it for $35 when they're doing it for, you know, several hundred. Well, we get to play first. No creatures, no keeping. All right, this will keep. This is a okay draw. I think we got to put Blight Mamba to the bottom. Well, we'll see. Opponents mulliganing. Are they mulliganing into the dream? A lot of mulligans. Increases the nut draw rate significantly. Mount Forest and Glistener Elf. Go. No bolts. No bolts. Could really use a land. That would be our ideal draw. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could nine our opponent if we draw land. Forest. And opponent has amulet. We untap. Well, get in. Hit our opponent with Glistener Elf. Up to one infect. Land. This hand actually could give us the win if we just draw land. Forest. Land. 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 Vines. Whew. Well, get in with Glistener Elf. Hit our opponent. Up to two opponent. Dismembers. Well, we will. Vines. Opponent untaps. Well, what do they got? Breeding pool. Tapped. Untaps. Sure. And Dryad of Ilsian Grove. I'll play the land. So let's see. Four, five, six. Oh, it should be the win. I think we got there. So dismember Dryad. Oh no, are we going to be one short? We are. Groundswell. Mutagenic Grove. We can put our board to nine. Ugh, oh, get in. Hit ya. Up to nine. Can we deal one single point of infect? Oh, Pwn scoops it up. Okay. Okay. Our miscounting did not punish us. <laughs> what we should have done that turn, because I know it's going to come in the comments, is, well, actually, no. I think that was a fine way to play it. We just should have counted better. <laughs> Ugh, do we want to fight Amulet? Maybe. Is Gutshot worth it? We could bring in a couple Nature's Claims. Maybe go down, like, one Become Immense and one Gutshot. Let's try it like that. All right, we're on the draw. I think blowing up Amulet's even more important on the draw. We can, like, blow it up on turn one and then play our threat on turn two, since we only have one one-drop anyway. <laughs> Glister Elf Trod. Um, okay, sure. I mean, I guess we go for it. Heavy on Glister Elf's Light on Pump. It's just good for getting around blockers. Bad for beating Engineered Explosives. Misty Rainforest. Opponent cracks it. Well, I'm assuming since they kept seven, they have Amulet. Yeah. yeah. More land's not helpful. Listener Elf, go. Opponent. Okay, dismembers. Bounce land. I mean, we got more Glistener Elf, so losing one is not the absolute end of the world. Ancient Stirrings. More bounce lands. Kind of feel like we should have brought in more artifact destruction, maybe. Apply the land. Glistener Elf. Glistener Elf. Pass the turn. Opponent. Oh, come on, pump spells. Breeding pool. Untapped, of course. Opponent. Passes. I'll play the forest. Go to combat. Attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I'll go to combat. Attack, attack. Iker Claw Mirror. Pass the turn. Next turn's the turn. We're going for it. Are we going to win this? Are we going to win this? What's our opponent have? We are presenting lethal. Plus four, five, six, seven, eight. So if, even if our opponent plays a blocker, in theory, we should have lethal. And our opponent should, in theory, be short of primeval titan. Unless they have, like, extra land drop shenanigans. Then all bets are off. Summoner's pack. Okay. For Dryad. Plays Dryad. One more land drop. Valakut. Okay, untaps. All right, this is it. This is it. Untap. We draw land. We got to go for it. So we play a forest. We go to combat. We attack with everything. A bolt could still beat us, maybe. Actually, it, well, yeah, it can. Go attacking. Opponent. All right. Well, groundswell, Glistener Elf. Blossoming defense, Glistener Elf. Dead? 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right. That is a $35 deck. Taking down 
one of the most busted, toppest tier decks in the modern format. <laughs> With the amulet on turn one. Oh my goodness, was that beautiful. It works. It's kind of working. <laughs> sweet. Oh, super sweet. We will definitely take it. All right. <laughs> Budget magic time. Ugh. We are going super duper ultra cheap this week with with a $35 build of Mono Green Infect. We'll see. I mean, if we win some games, I'm going to be super happy cuz $35. I think it might be the cheapest deck we've ever played on on uh on Budget Magic. Well, let's run out Blight Mamba go. We're one pump spell away from potentially winning next turn. We have scale up to make this six power, seven, eight. So like a mutagenic growth would give us potentially the kill with protection. Opponent, pass it. Well, let's scale up. Wormify. <laughs> uh, muddle the mixture, okay. Well, take one. We have a million scale ups. I think it's better to leave, well, hmm, that might've been wrong. It's possible, since we're still at Infect Short, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I guess we're not. Six, oh yeah, we are. We are in Infect Short. What is happening? Folio, okay, that's acceptable. Pump spell, Ranker, does that do it? Scale up, no. All right, well, scale up Light Mamba. Six power, yeah, we're still one short. All right, so we just play it conservative. Hit you for six, up to seven, in fact. Leave up Blossoming Defense, and then trust it scale up part 40 million. I mean, I don't know what we're up against. Something, it's got to be combo -y, but I don't know what kind of combo is happening. Um, well, okay. Scale up. <laughs> scale up Trod. Better than real Trod? Does our opponent have another? Oh, my God. Muddle the mixture. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we get in with Blight Mamba. This is fine. Get in with Blight Mamba. Blossoming Defense. And, well, I mean, our opponent's on a brew, but our deck is $35, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna get too, <laughs> too technical as far as where we get our wins. Like, sure, it's the Muddle Picture Folio Fancy Stack, whatever in the world that is, uh, but <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, all right, so that went pretty well. I don't even know. I don't know what our opponents do. I'm assuming we want Autumn's Veil as our our very budget Veil of Summer. Maybe go down like a Season of Growth, a Become Immense, and Ranker loses some value if our opponent's not playing Blockers. Like that's the main reason it's in our deck is to, to give us a form of evasion to get through Blockers, but what is our opponent's deck doing? Well, okay. Blight Mamba's for days. Sand's fine, although not especially explosive, and we're on the draw. Yeah, mutagenic growth. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Okay, we're not that far away from getting a one-shot kill with this Blight Mamba. Assuming we can resolve it through this mono blue. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. Well, uh, we might regret not bringing removal. I had no idea what our opponent was doing, but Pilly Pala combo. So there are ways that this just goes infinite and we lose. Yeah, we would have brought in removal if we knew if we knew what our opponent was up to. Pilly Pala, sure. Oh, come on, pump spell that can kill our opponent. Gets in for one. Sure, hits us. We'll take it. Ooh, Ranker is not the worst. Play a land, play Ranker. Go to combat, attack. Opponent blocks. All right, so we will mutagenic growth for life. Five. Yeah, we can't quite win this turn. So trample over for four. Leave up protection and then plan on hopefully winning next turn. Opponent. Also, even though Blight Mamba is kind of a janky infect creature, the regenerate is actually like sort of relevant. That can protect our creature without us having to spend one of our pump spells. Wow. All right. Pilly Pella Aggro. Opponent passes. Now play the forest. Um, Go to combat. Attack. Kick of Vines. Blossoming defense. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Hexproof. Fizzle it. Vines, pump it, ranker, trample it, and, well, on one hand, 
On one hand, we just want a modern game with a $35 deck. A modern match with a $35 deck. On the other hand, and our deck functioned pretty well. On the other hand, our opponent is on some sort of wild brew. Uh, Pilly Pala, there are ways to go infinite with it. Mostly with, uh, like, Grand Architect shenanigans can make infinite mana with Pilly Pala. I assume that's what our opponent's trying to do, but uh, they didn't do it that game. And we were able to pick up the win. So, okay. Eh, maybe not the best test of what our deck would do against, like, super top tier dot deck, but a win's a win with $35 dot deck. Yeah, all right. Get in there, in fact. Sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some $35 in fact in modern. Ultra budget magic time. Super duper ultra budget magic time. Uh, Yeah, I mean, we'll keep this. Hopefully our opponent does not have too much interaction, but this is a turn three kill through through no interaction. If our opponent does have interaction, it gets tougher. Now we'll keep. See what our opponent's up to. Valakot. Well, forest, go. What about it? Man, we have not drawn many many Glistener Elves. This would be a turn two kill if we had if we had Glistener Elf. I'll play the land and yeah, I mean we gotta we gotta run it out. Igor Claw Mirror. Please no bolts, please no blockers, just nothing. Play a ram spell or two. Yeah, it's a bolt. Alright, so this is the risk, <laughs> the bad news of our plan. Now we don't do anything for a minute or two. Uh season of growth. We are a very a very goldfishy style egger deck. And if our combo pieces get disrupted, things go a little bit poorly. Search for tomorrow. All right. So we need to draw a creature. That's number one. Stomping grounds. Tapped. Pass the turn. Hmm. Yeah. Is it charm? Oh, boy. This actually is probably a way harder match. <laughs> Discarding scape shift. Oh, dear. This is probably a way harder matchup, honestly, than oh, more lands. Yeah, we're dead. This is actually probably a way harder matchup, but this build of Scape Shift that has Is It Charms and Lightning Bolts compared to compared to more traditional Scape Shift. This is a very like oh no. A very interaction heavy build of Scape Shift. And uh we're just drawing lands. Lands for days. Opponent not killing us for some reason. I guess they they probably oh no. <laughs> yeah, I mean this. We got the Boggles problem. Our deck doesn't have that many creatures. And even less so with the $35 build since we don't get Ink Moth in the mana base. I assume our opponent has Scape Shift Kill in hand. And they just need one more land. Wow, Cryptic Bounce Draw. Not so much because they care about Season... Okay, there's, there's the land number seven. I guess technically they need one more to actually... Okay, there's land number eight. All right, so this should be this... Huh? You're still not killing us? Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's so many forests off the top in our 19 land deck. Opponent sacks. Why did they discard scape shift? Like, what, we're a mono green deck. What are we going to do? Like, how are we going to stop you from scape shift killing us? Undav lad. Opponent just waiting for, like, super duper ultra scape shift, where they have, like, nine lands and deal... Who knows? Okay. Super duper ultra escape shift. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're dead with eight lands last turn, right? Isn't that 30 some damage or something ridiculous? Uh, all right. Well, that is, uh, that is part of the issue. We'll bring in our wild defiances. And is weather, is there any way weather the storm is good? Probably not. So wild defiance in two season of gross out. Run it like that. All right, Wild Defiance is very good Lightning Bolt protection. It doesn't work against hard removal spells, but against Lightning Bolt, opponent targets it, our creature gets plus three, plus three. It also doubles up our our pump spells. I think Season of Growth is better for go long games, but Wild Defiance is a really fast clock. All right, I mean, similar to last game, we have one creature, but we have a very fast kill if that creature lives. One of these days we're gonna draw a Glistener Elf and it's gonna be sweet. Well, I mean we gotta we gotta run it out. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Big money, no whammies. Oh, green mana's good news. That's not lightning bolt mana. Hmm. All right, that actually stops us from winning this turn. 
Oh, go to combat. Attack. No pump spells since... Yeah, opponent's going to block. Acre Claw Mirror gets pumped. Opponent sacks. No way to give trample at the moment. Well, so we just pass. We leave up protection. Hope that we... Uh, hope that our opponent does not keep finding blockers. Opponent passes. Okay. This could be good. Land? That's a land. So play the land. We will scale up. Go to combat attack groundswell so opponents ether gusting the groundswell and eh, that's fine so we will blossoming defense mutagenic growth kill you anyway Eh, sure top doesn't matter who all right all right all right that went much better through a counter spell still getting the job done Ooh, run it back run it back <laughs> The deck has some power. It really, for being 35 bucks, the deck does have some power. <laughs> Two wild defiance, no creatures. I think we got a ship. I don't think we can keep, I don't think we can keep no creature hands. Hmm. Are we putting wild defiance to the bottom? Or can we wait long enough to get it down? Yeah, wild defiance going to go bottom. All right. Well, we'll see. The question's going to be, how do we manage this Glistener Elf forest? Search for tomorrow. Oh. Okay, well, we're going to run it out. Since we drew since we drew a second backup creature, I think running it out's fine. Like, we would still rather not have it lightning bolted. Snow-covered island. How much damage can we deal here? Not quite lethal. Oh, my God, that is lethal. No, it's ugh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're one point of damage short. Well, we got a ground swell. Go to combat. Attack. Mutagenic growth. Mutagenic growth. Put you to nine. All right. Yeah. Well, you can't take another infect hit all game. Grow spiral. Oh, we were so close. Pwned it. Red source. Search for tomorrow's. Can we get through one single point of infect? That's all we need. Any one attack with any infect creature. Pwn it up to a million mana. Lightning bolt. Well, I mean, we gotta we gotta try. Vines? Remands the vines. Yeah, all right. So, listen Ralph down. Pwn draws a card. Oh, play the forest. Acre Claw Mirror. Oh, no. They have another. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to end up one point of damage short. I think. Search for tomorrow suspended. Acre Claw Mirror. Yeah. Oh. Wow. So we're going to lose. But it took our opponent having Lightning Bolt Triple Remand Hand. So even though we're going to lose, we're losing against a deck that costs like, I don't know, $800 or $1,000. Why our deck is, uh, why our deck is, uh, is $35, and they had to have a really, really above normal interactive hand to be able to uh, to beat our deck. So I assume we just get scape shift killed here. Yeah, all right. Well, it's not a win, but it still shows the power of our deck. Our opponent needed, I guess I would say a nut draw to not die, and we were just one point of infect short. That's where you can see that one point of infect, the, the fully powered builds of infect play Noble High Arc, Noble Hierarch on that battlefield would have been the win when we ended up one point of damage short because we didn't have the Exalted trigger. Still an impressive performance for our deck as we uh, as we die here. So really, I don't think we can, uh, we can really complain. Like, our opponent had to have the Dream, and our $35 deck put our opponent's $3,500 deck, which is an exaggeration, but you know what I'm saying. Their deck costs 20, 30 times what ours costs. Uh, so we put up to the test, and we were very close. We were a single point of infect away from winning a match against that deck. All right. Well, next time. Next time, Scape Shift. You, you only have one remand, and then we win. All right. Budget magic time. Trying to infect people out for literally as cheap as possible, and... Wow, uh, turn two kill, I think. One, two, three, four, five, ten. All right, all right. I mean, things can definitely go wrong. Like, our Glistener Elf gets killed. But, if Glistener Elf does not get killed, 
This looks very lethal. No paths, no paths. Okay, opponent has dismember. Why are you playing dismember if you have don't have to? Well, forest, blight mom, but this might be this might be a pretty rough matchup. <laughs> if there's one thing control does well, it is kill creatures and kill creatures. Well, we untap. Vines is good. We will scale up. Opponent cracks. Now does our opponent have a counter? Snow covered island. All right, opponent counters. Well, we will ranker. Get in for three. Pass the turn. Well, all right, we got to do this now. We need a pump spell. We need a pump spell. We need a pump s Oh, tablet. All right, any pump spell. Any pump spell. I think that works. Ranker. Five. Ranker. Seven. Eh. And a post scoops it up. Oh! <laughs> Triple Ranker Blight Mamba. Through a dismember. Through a counter spell. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, we are so doing it. So this matchup, we're going to bring in Autumn's Veil. Vale. We're going to go down a ranker, a become immense, and a ranker. Since our opponent shouldn't have too many chump blockers. And run it like that. Keep the season of growth. If there was ever a matchup where a season of growth was going to be good, it should be this control matchup where drawing cards could be relevant. Well, all right. All right, one more. One more win. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe this is working for, for the price tag. I mean, working as well as it is. Ooh. One land, infinite protection. I think we got a mulligan. Well, this will keep. Acre Claw Mirror to the bottom. Polluter Delta, opponent, pass him. Now, Forest and Glisten or Elf, go. We're kind of okay with Path. Because we're pretty pinched on lands. Yeah, if we're gonna if we're gonna get a, uh, our creature killed, path is better than dismember for sure. Ooh, opponent kept one land path. Oh, they did. All right, so land, acre claw mirror. Gonna have spell snare. All right. So opponent had one land, tons of disruption. Glistener elf go. No lands. No lands. Oh, opponent with a land top deck. Oh god. All right. So well. Now we know why opponent kept the one lander. They had the one land dream draw. Well, Blight Mamba. Acre Claw Mirror. Go. We drew a lot of threats, though, so we're still in it. Opponent cracks. They better not have path three. Mystic set. All right. Can we? One, two. Ugh. All right. So we don't have that much pump yet. Hopefully our opponent does not keep drawing lands. They, they deserve to be a little punished for keeping a one lander, at least. All right. Opponent opts to try to find a land. Puts it on top, so it is a land. It's a hollowed fountain. Cracks hollowed fountain. All right, so opponent, very unpunished. Hollowed fountain untapped, down to 13. Stoneforge Mystic. All right, that's going to make things tricky. Sort of feast and famine. We draw forest. We'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack. And let's ground swell. And, yeah, I guess that's enough for now. Opponent goes up to six, we pass the turn. Can we close it out? Can we close it out? What do you got, opponent? Oh, so close. So close. Ranker would be sweet. Maybe we're greedy to take out some rankers. Opponent's going to Snapcaster Mage. Going to Path. Well, we are going to have to Blossoming Defense. Yep. Well, blossoming Defense. Keep our stuff alive. Untap. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent double blocks. All right. Oh, were you were if we had a land. Okay. So both die. We pass the turn. Oh, yeah, grounds fell one point short. Opponent hits a land. Yeah, they've been very unpunished for their one lander. Opponent passes. So opponent has cryptic mana. Go to combat. Attack. Oh my god, settle? Oh, and now we're out of creatures. So close. I wonder if we misplayed. I wonder if we should have held on to a land in case we drew another groundswell. There might have been a turn where we had that option. Mm. This is this is another example of 
our budget being uh, a bit of a bit of a concern since uh, if we were less ultra budget we could have ink moth nexus which is pretty good against these uh, control decks stone forge all right and uh, we will scoop it up not enough threats left Pony can get batter skull they got sort of feast and famine we don't have a way to get through that wow wow we were so close i mean i guess on one hand our opponent had triple path triple path and and we were still super close to winning that game oh all right well we get to play first give us a good one all right we'll keep this hand's not bad it only has one land, but it has a one drop and it has double blossoming defense. And if our one drop gets path, we have Blight Mamba, so this could work. The blowout is dismember, or some sort of non non path removal spell, because then we might not have the lands we need to to cast the rest of our threats. Glisten Elf, go. Flooded strand. Opponent cracks it. Hollowed fountain. Untapped. And path. Alright, well. To be expected. That is the challenge of this matchup. We will play Acre Clawmere past the turn. Snow Covered Island. Seriously. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Blight Mamba past the turn. <laughs> Ponet. Field of Ruin. Ponet passes. We'll play the Forest. Go to combat, attack, pump, hit our opponent past the turn. Opponent field of ruin, so we get a forest. All right, I mean, in theory, this could be lethal next turn. We'll see what happens in practice. Opponent passing. Well, we will blossoming defense. Come on, snapcaster that path. Play the land. Go to combat, attack. Well, uh, vines of vastwood. Okay. Well, we will dismember. <laughs> All right. So, vote add full on disruption up to five. Vote it. Oh, man. Oh, opponents had such insanely perfect draws. I'll go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks. Well, we will regenerate. Another Blight Mamba. Land. Go. Tap land. Pwn it. Passes. More lads. Oh no. Well, go attacking. Opponent blocks. We regenerate. Pass the turn. This means our opponent could have settled the wreckage. Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Up to seven past the turn. Oh, opponent runs out of Snapcaster Mage. Four path. Well, Blossoming Defense. All right, opponent, what do you got? We might not be able to afford playing around Settle anymore. We draw. Groundswell. Go to combat. Oh, do we just have to go for it? It's not going to get better. They're just going to draw more stuff. If we attack with just Blight Mamba, they block with Snapcaster. All right, we'll attack with one. Opponent blocks. We regenerate. The regeneration has been relevant. Pass the turn. Archmage just charm draws two cards. All right. Opponent untaps. Oh, we're so close, yet so far away. Land. Opponent. Passes. We gotta go for it. Attack, attack. If they have settled, they have settled and we lose. Seriously. Okay, spell queller. Well, that doesn't just beat us. That's fine. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. Uh, let's blossoming defense. Regenerate. Kill both. Okay. All right. Uh, vines, sure. Whatever. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. What do you have? If we win this, it would be pretty amazing. With just the amount of pass and disruption our opponents had. The Blight Mambas have been great, though. Like, the regeneration has been huge. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sure. Bounces. Okay. 
land, opponent passes. Well, we will play Blight Mamba, play the land, go to combat, attack our opponent. Groundswell? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! $35 in fact through three paths, force negation, Archmage's Star, double spell caller, Jason Mind Sculptor, literally all the disruption possible. And we got there. <laughs> oh, it's worked. It worked. $35. Okay, well, that was. That worked way better than I would have thought. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, for being $35, I can't hope for much more than that. Wow! Uh, all right, spectacular, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about $35 in fact and modern? And I gotta say, the deck worked way better than I actually hoped it would have. I was hoping we would, you know, scrape out a 3-2, maybe a 2-3 with some close losses, but we actually ended up going 4-1 in our five matches. We did get one kind of like weird matchup where we played this Pilly Pala combo deck that I'm not sure what our opponent was doing, so that kind of worked in our favor, but we also played Blue White Control, we played Scape Shift, we played Amulet Titan, we played Ad Nauseum. Those are four legitimate decks and some of the best decks in Modern, honestly, with the two Primeval Titan decks. And our only loss came to Scape Shift. And even in that loss, it was really, really close. It was a three game match and we were really close to actually winning that one as well. So apparently you can actually compete on a $35 budget in Modern. I was super impressed with how the deck performed. Like, really, I'm just kind of blown away that it was as effective as it was. So is this the new tier Modern deck or anything like that? No, it's definitely a very budget-friendly version of Infect, but it's really encouraging to know that you could build this deck for $35. You could take it to your FNM, play it on Magic Online, and actually compete with Primeval Titans. We play Blue Light Control, and I think they cast three pass, multiple counter spells, a couple of spell quellers, a Jason Bide Sculptor, and we still ended up getting the win. So the ability of our deck to be really fast, get those free roll kills, and oddly go long, like Blade Mamba regenerating really helpful. We never really did anything with Season of Growth. That might just be worth cutting, but the deck actually felt really legitimate. So if you just want to be at least somewhat competitive against real tier decks in Modern for $35, it doesn't get much cheaper than that. So the other awesome thing about this Infect deck is you can upgrade it pretty easily. So the easiest step one upgrade is just keep the deck exactly the same and add Ink Moth Nexus to the mana base. Ink Moth Nexus is a card I really, really wanted in the deck. Having an Infect Flyer is huge anyway, and having it be a land so it's not sitting out ready for our opponent to kill with removal is also really helpful. That's like $50, I think, for a playset. So even if you added in Ink Moth, we would still be below our normal $100 budget. And then if you want to fully upgrade and try to play like tier Infect, you're mostly splashing into blue. Playing Blighted Agent is another really good unblockable infect creature you get some counter spells uh, a couple other shenanigans like that but really the main idea is the same play infect creatures protect them throw pump spells at them kill the opponent really quickly so that's 35 dollars in fact and I'm blown away. Like I said before, I'm really blown away with how well it performed. If you are looking to have a deck for $35 that actually can beat tier modern decks it seems like a really good option, and then you can always upgrade it as you go along. So that's $35 in fact. I hope you enjoyed this ultra, super duper ultra budget version of Budget Magic. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.